Well, you may know Michigan is a no-fall state when it comes to auto insurance, but there have been some pushes lately to repeal that system entirely. And this week's Know the Law segment, Tom Sinus is here to talk about what that would mean for drivers across the state. You know, we've lived with uh, no fault in our state for about 40 years, mm -hmm. so long that I think people don't remember what life was like before we had the system. We call it a no-fault system because it's a system that allows you to access benefits without proving the fault of someone else. And that's really unusual. The old days, and the days that some people say we should go back to, went like this. If you're involved in an automobile accident, in order to claim anything, lost time from work, medical expenses, uh, pain and suffering type mm -hmm. damages, in order to claim any of those, you had to prove the fault of the other driver. What we realized along the way is that was not a very efficient way to run a system where we know we have a lot of auto accidents. We want to give people access to things like medical care and wage replacement without having to prove a case against someone else. But if we didn't have no fault, then your ability to get any of those benefits would again require that you pursue a lawsuit against the other driver and prove that that person was at fault. We always hear the argument against no fault is that we pay too much when compared to other states. You have to ask yourself, well, what am I getting? In the state of Michigan, you are getting lifetime medical coverage for automobile accident related injuries. For lifetime. The rest, lifetime, for the rest of your life That's and the rare. rest of your children's life if they're, heaven forbid, they're injured. Mm -hmm. Well, what happens if we didn't have that? How, what kind of benefits would you get? You'd be limited by the insurance policy that the other driver had. So if they don't have good insurance, you don't get good benefits. That's right. And do you know what the minimum amount of liability coverage in the state of Michigan is? $20,000. Wow. So if we didn't have a no-fault system and you had $100,000 worth of medical bills, well, too bad. You're going to be limited to the $20,000 that the other driver had. Okay? That's, and, and that's the, the limitation that is imposed by a fault-based mm -hmm. system. What else does it mean? Well, what it means in that hypothetical is that your medical bills are not going to be covered by the other driver's insurance company because he's got twenty thousand dollars in coverage you got a hundred thousand dollars in medical bills so who pays those bills well the only places to go are health insurance medicaid and medicare so what does that mean for everyone else it means that we as taxpayers or we as people who buy private health insurance we have to pay more we have to pay more in tax liability to fund medicare more in tax liability to fund medicaid and more for our health insurance premiums because without no fault, the medical expenses of the people who are injured in automobile accidents are going to be covered by the only place they can go, which is private health insurance, Medicare, or Medicaid. So we're spending the money, it's just how you spend the money. That's right. So when, you, when people say, well, let's just get rid of go, no fault and go back to the good old days, right. ask yourself, how good were the good old days? And if somebody has a question about no fault or an accident they've been in, they can call your office. They sure can. 616-301-3333. They can find us online at www.sinusdramus.com or they can shoot us an email at info at sinusdramus.com. Tom, thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Christian.